Hello guys, this is Damaduck82 and we are here to make a uh, hovercraft today. And uh, I've already uh, got us up here in the designer in a block ready to go. So firstly, uh, let's just put together some kind of a platform that we can use to strap things onto as we're going here. So, let's see here. I think with this first one, we'll try for something really simple. Um, we'll go and make us a Deddy Blade platform here. So, to get started, we're going to put one here, one here, one here, and one on the other side. Next, we're going to go through mirror mode, and we're going to put one right here at the middle where the center mass is. I'm just scroll in so you guys can see it. It's like going to be right here on that single block. Now then, we're going to go ahead and put some blades on these spinners. Again, the direction that the blades are pointing will not matter. I usually put them in a certain way just because, uh, well, I get a little OCD. Alright, so now we need to set up some settings for these things. On this one here on the front, uh, I kind of want it to do two different things. I want it to do pitcher and pusher preset. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing here at the back one. Now you can also use these principles that I'm showing you guys here. How to um, make a helicopter. But I'll cover that in a tutorial later. Now these are not going to have any power at first. So it's just probably best to leave them be for right now. And since we got this one here at the center here, where our center of mass is going to be, we're just going to make that one just a little bit bigger so it's got more lifting force. So over here in spin rate control, we want a roller and a pusher preset. We'll scale these back to about 50-50. And over here we'll do the same. Okay, and down here, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to stick a couple of PIDs. So we're going to go Control. And we're going to grab just some general purpose PIDs. Nothing too fancy. So this one right here, I want to go propulsion vertical. And we want to go altitude above terrain or waves. Okay. And we're going to enable a fake point. And this is how you would set your altitude. So it either goes off the center of mass or wherever the PID is located on the craft. I'm not entirely sure on that. We'll just set it to 30 meters. Okay, that all looks good. And this one over here, we need to set it to be a pusher preset. There we go. And this one over here, I think we'll have it set up for propulsion pitch. And the, yeah, here we go, propulsion pitch. We go over here to this one, and we will set this for propulsion roll, 
and then we'll select roll here. All right, so let's unfreeze it and see what happens. Not too bad. Let's see if we can adjust these PIDs a bit. Um, usually a setting that I like to go with is like a gain of about 0.5. This is something I got from another YouTuber named Trekker Joe. Pretty w smart guy. Anyway, we will use those settings for that one. And over here, we'll take this and put in the same settings. Now you can always go back and fine tune these however you want. I usually don't like to spend a whole lot of time on these because PID is... It's just not something I really like messing with. I get impatient with it. So I usually just use this really basic setting for about everything and it seems to work well. And yeah, it's going to bounce around a little bit, but we are flying. And we are doing it at about an altitude of 30 meters. Now the reason why I have these uh, ones on the very outside with two different settings like propulsion vertical and propulsion roll is so uh, that way if uh, another one gets taken out or this one here in the center gets damaged then the other one can uh, pick up some of the slack so that way it'll still control the roll and it'll be able to give some vertical thrust. Uh, generally, something like this will behave a little bit better if you put a little weight on it. So let's see what happens when we do that. And you see how that kind of evened out the wiggling just a little bit more? Let's add a little more weight. Yeah. Usually PIDs aren't that effective with really, really, really light things. So... It's okay to add just a little bit of weight to it to make them respond a little bit better. At least that's been my experience with them. But as you can see, we got a fairly stable helicopter-like hovercraft. Now, you don't have to build it this way or use these exact settings. This is just to give you an idea of how I usually do things. So, yeah. We got that thing built. So... I'm going to go ahead and try starting another. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be using the jet thrusters. Now for this one we're going to need a a lot more power so I think I'm just going to plop a very very simple fuel engine on this and I'm building it in a specific way to try to keep everything balanced so we're not going to do anything too crazy with this There we go. Now we got a buttload of power. So let's go into resources, just grab some fuel. That should work for now. And next we're going to go into air. And we're going to go jet engines. And we're going to grab a huge jet engine like this. And plop it on the bottom like that. Then we're going to put one here, and one here, and one here. And this will work pretty much just like it did last time, but let's go ahead and set up the propulsion responses. Uh, this is going to be a pusher preset. This is going to be a roller and a pusher. 
Again, we're going to dial up back the strength of it just a little bit. And you do not want to copy and paste these settings unless the thruster is on the same side. Otherwise, um, it's going to take the uh, settings from the wrong place. Like if you took a settings from, if you're setting up a roll thruster, um, if you take the settings from the left and put it on the right, then it's just going to be fighting what, fighting itself. And yeah, it's, it's best to not do that. Anyway, we're going to go roll and push a preset. There we go. And over here, we are going to go... Actually, that's already got the picture preset. All right. That's good. I'm thinking we might have to get rid of the uh, the other flyer there because it, it it's like really really close and I just don't want to risk it crashing into something that I'm trying to work on here anyway we're about there so let's pull this back up out of the water Now, something that I learned from watching other YouTubers stuff, uh, Inner Defense specifically, I know I mention him a lot, but uh, well, he's just good, so yeah. Anyway, um, one thing that I learned from watching him is that your thrusters can not handle three different axes at once. Um, you need to, you can only set like maybe two max. For it to work right. All right, so hopefully that won't throw off our center of mass too much having this guy right here, but I don't think it will. But let's go ahead and get these set up. Oh, these are AIP IDs. My mistake. We want general. I was wondering why they're glowing red like that. Anyway, let's try this again. Um. Propulsion vertical, altitude above terrain or waves, and we're going to set this just like we did the first one. Here we go. And over here we're going to have... Actually, I just remembered I need to enable the fake point, so we'll go ahead and set this guy for like... 30. That should be fine. In this one over here, we're going to do propulsion pitch. Set this to pitch. And we're going to go ahead and put in our numbers like we did earlier. There we go. And over here, we're going to set this one. Oops. It's supposed to be 0.5. And that's supposed to be one. And this one is going to be our roll. And roll. All right, let's let it go and see what happens. It looks like it's having just a little bit of trouble with stability right now. Let's see what happens after we put a little bit of weight on it. It didn't really seem to do much, did it? Let's try a little bit more see what happens. I'm still wanting to go to one side. This should not be pitch at all. I think that's what the problem was. 
Yeah, that seems like it's handling it a little bit better. Okay. Now, granted, it's a little bit wobbly. But it is flying, and it is flying at the correct altitude. Again, this is just to give you guys a very, very simple, basic example of how this could work for you. Just want to double check my settings here. Yeah, that's fine. Now, this isn't perfect by any means, but um, yeah, this is just to give you an idea of how you can make a hovercraft work. Um, and always remember that you want to have most of your lift here when you're making a hovercraft under or above your center of mass. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just despawn this guy here. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to pull them both, but they're both called vehicles. So. Okay. Now, a lot of those principles you could also use on airships. And uh, it should work pretty much about the same way, except you're probably going to need a hell of a lot more thrusters or deadly blades. Anyway. Uh, if I can just remember where the hell I saved this damn thing. Pardon me one second here while I try to look it up. Okay. Now here's just an example of something that you can do with your uh, Deddy Blades. This right here is just a really simple hauler, hence the name. Uh, this is completely RTG powered, and it's quick-ish, but it can hold tons of materials, and As I can remember how the controls for this thing works, it's been a while. It's it can move at a decent speed too. Now something like this is great for getting materials. And you saw the price tag on this thing. These are like stupid cheap. But yeah, it could just go back and forth to and from your resource zone and back. Or you could try something uh, a little bit more extreme. This is something that I made for me in Heitzmeister's uh, Ashes of the Empire play. Let's play. So, let me just uh, pop some stuff on here. Like a chair. And let's see how fast this thing goes. Hundred and ten meters a second. That is hauling ass. And basically all it is is just one big flying wedge. 
And it practically turns on a dime, too. Carries buttloads of fuel. And you could swap a lot of these fuel blocks out for um, resources instead. I mean, do whatever. I'll go ahead and uh, post this on the uh, workshop for you guys, and uh, I'll put a link in the description of this video if uh, you want to check out this uh, little uh, wedge here. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is crazy fast, and it it's just barely sipping fuel, as you can see down in the corner. And this will get you whatever you need to wherever you need in a hurry. And this is also kind of one of the reasons why I thought it was pointless to have or to get rid of the um, the centralized resources because why even worry about it when I can build one of these little <laughs> hovercraft and get anything from point A to point B faster than most things can move across the map. I don't know. But if you do like to have the logistical thing, I mean, I, I ain't going to fault you for that. It just seems like an unnecessary complication. Anywho, um, I hope you guys got something out of this. And, uh, yeah, this has been uh, Damodoc 8.2 with uh, part four of my flying tutorial. Uh, Y'all have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your hammer high. Later.